We are back with another episode of Track Talk, and we will be going through a game of 1889. I am unfamiliar with the players and unfamiliar with the outcome of this game, but this is a little bit different. So far we've been commenting uh, four-player games, and this will actually be a five-player game. So there are some differences in strategy in terms of, you know, the train pace being a little bit different, and also with the player's starting capital being less. So we will walk through this uh, game and see who comes out on top. Starting with Michael, we will have a bid on the Sumitomo. And a Mitsubishi Ferry, that is an early company to bid on in terms of the order of the auction. You may see a player just snap up the Takamatsu and assume that the other players will bid out on the other privates. Um, it does give the player bidding after you the option to get the Ime for face, which is, of course, a better value than the Takamatsu in terms of buy-in value. So we will see how that plays out. But I'm always a little cautious when I'm in these games to bid early on these cheap privates because I have seen many times a early pull, and then it really just throws off the rest of the auction. Maniac bids on the expensive South Io. I am a fan of this private in this game, but in five players, you have less capital to start, um, making these expensive privates a little bit more painful. Stas will take the Ime. So now there is a string of companies that will go for near face if there is an early pull. Haba Haba should be seeing this and may be incentivized to bid on the Sumitomo in order to prevent Michael from then pulling right away. Instead, bids on the most expensive private, the Uno Takamatsu. This is not a good private. Um, you know, it's uncommon for you to be able to buy it in and then still have money for trains. Uh, and it also has no interesting special ability. It does count as one of your certificates, uh, which will prevent you from maxing out and paying shares in the late game if you are stuck with this company because it never closes. The income of 50 is good, but a better share is always possible. So definitely a mistake bidding on this, and I expect as a result we will see an early pull. Instead, this player elects to bid on the Mitsubishi. This does kind of block Kaminsky from an early pull. We could, of course, still see one, um, but we will see if he chooses to join one of the other players on their privates. And he will go on the South Io. So now Maniac is left to bid on one of these privates, probably the Ime, or else we will, in theory, see Stas pull. And it's even better for Stas to pull here than it was for Michael to pull uh, on the prior uh, opportunity. So he does uh, try and prevent that by billing, bidding on Stas's private. And we will see Stas, as a result, join Michael on the Sumitomo. Still no bids on the Dugo, which is a little bit unusual. It's not a bad private to have. Haba Haba Haba, having made a poor decision in the first round, follows that up with a bid on the Dugo. So he runs the risk of, you know, getting two private companies here if someone pulls and being unable to float in any of the early stock rounds as a result. We will see if that pays out. Michael joins him. Michael is now on three privates, probably not hoping to win all of them, maybe hoping to just win one. The other problem with building, bidding on the Uno Takamatsu is it really uh, removes the incentive for other players to bid up on the earlier privates, because worst case scenario, they don't end up with a private, which certainly is not great, but does mean that you can um, you know, avoid overpaying for your privates. There's no reason, there's no disincentive in the sense that you will potentially end up with the Uno Takamatsu. Having said all that, we do see Kaminsky bid on the Uno Takamatsu. I don't understand that bid at all. Um, that is not a private that I value, and I think that you would be better off just passing if you don't want to bid on one of the other privates. All the privates now have two players on them. We may see a pull as this player may just say it looks balanced to him and just wants to get it over with. Instead is the third player on the Mitsubishi. Stas does finally pull, so we will just run through all these contested auctions now. So a little bit of a strange auction. Um, I think bidding on the Uno Takamatsu really just throws off the early game in specifically auction incentives. I really do not like that uh, play. Uh, 
Kaminsky is sitting low man on the totem pole for the Mitsubishi and does have options on two other privates. So if I were him, I would just pass here. I think the other players may bid this up uh, adequately that you do not need to participate. And if you bid again, you run the risk of getting stuck with it. He does pass, and the other player passes as well, so Maniac will take the Mitsubishi for 45 Not an unreasonable price for the private. You always like to see it cheaper if you uh, are the one that wins it, but 45 very reasonable. Uh, Ime now, Maniac and Stas. Um, both of these players have other privates, so neither one of them is necessarily dying to end with this one. Maniac did just win the Mitsubishi, so probably can forego another cheap private. He may want to just price and force a little bit with Stas, but he has to be careful as Stas will be starting with a bid on 55, and if Maniac bids again, he may very well end up with a private. He does bid. Um, if I was Stas, I may be tempted to pass here, but he does go the extra bid, and maybe we'll see Maniac give it to him here. And he does. So now we have the Stas player bidding with another player with an M in their name. This will be a little confusing. We have Michael and Maniac. So Stas now has two privates, is really under no obligation to buy anything else, probably just looking to price and force on Michael. Stas does not have enough capital to float um, on his own in the first stock round, which many of these players will not as a result of the fragmentation of the starting capital and lower liquidity at the start of the game. Michael um, has no privates, does have another opportunity to get one with the Dugo, so probably is not going to be bidding super heavy for the Sumitomo, um, but may want to just ensure he has a private with at least one bid here. And looks like he's willing to do that. Stas probably will be passing and does. So uh, Michael gets a fairly cheap Sumitomo. Michael now back on the Dugo. Haba Haba is on this private and the Uno, Uno Takamatsu. Um, so Michael CZ needs to be a little bit careful because Haba Haba is probably not eager to win this auction, but may be willing to bid at least once. And does, does Michael just pass here? No, he goes the extra bid. Haba Haba, if I were this player, would be passing, but does go an extra bid and will win it as a result. Kaminsky now has no privates, is a player that decided to bid on the Ino Takamatsu uh, kind of inexplicably, so needs to be careful not to end up with the two most expensive privates in the game. Uh, Maniac will put a single bid on this, and Kaminsky may be looking for a pass here as Haba Haba could just pass right out of the Ino Takamatsu. He bids, and he bids a lot for the South Isle, um, so we may see this player walking away with the two most expensive privates in the game. Maniac is happy to meet him for that. I don't really understand that either. Maniac has a private already, not the best private, but one that will serve, and Kaminsky probably should just let him bow out, or bow out of this auction. Instead, meeting him, Maniac, I would like to see one of these players pass here, um, doesn't matter who it is, as long as someone doesn't continue to pay money for this private that they don't need. Um, and Maniac does pass. So Kaminsky is now in a position where he could very well end up with uh, both of these privates, which would be probably a game-losing start for him. Haba should just pass here. Is willing to bid once. Kaminsky, is he going to risk it and go again? He does. And he massively overbids. Um, so this player has in my mind, eliminated himself from the game. Haba is willing to meet him. Um, this is something that I have never seen before. Bidding up on the Uno Takamatsu like this seems very ill-advised. And they are continuing to go for it. They both really want this private. And a stunning price for the Uno Takamatsu, it looks like. These players are going full out. Kaminsky is reaching uh, the point where he may end end up leaving this auction with zero cash, um, which seems like a terrible decision. Will we actually see this? Amazing. So Kaminsky was able to bid up the Uno Takamatsu to an eye-watering 260 and is unable to build, bid any further as a result of his uh, lack of cash. This is awful play. Uh, it's something I have never seen before. So Haba Haba has massively overpaid for his privates and will have um, little opportunity to ever float a company as a result. I would argue that this 
could be considered a four-player four game moving forward, with the exception of the reduced starting capital as a result of his decision making. We will see. Um, I will have some egg on my face if this player somehow pulls out this game for a win, which would be quite incredible to see. Michael Z uh, does have cash to float and will be taking the IR. I have said this before, my preferred starting companies for 1889 are SR and KO. Um, maybe slightly preferring the SR just in the first stock round. Uh, KO is also a very reasonable chart choice. Following the SR and KO, um, I usually like to start the UR and then the IR followed distantly by the TR and then the AR. I would never consider floating the KU as a first start company. I'd rather pass and sit on my cash. Kaminsky now does not have enough money to float on his own, but may be looking for help from other players, specifically Stas, as Maniac will be able to float on his own. So will Kaminsky take a company here? Passes. Maniac will then take the KO, again, one of my preferred starting companies. Stas here um, has the opportunity to um, reserve a presidency or um, pass, and will be reserving the UR. Haba is forced to pass, as we've discussed ad nauseum. Michael will continue to float the IR. Kaminsky now seeing um, his options for investment may choose to spread his money and is continuing to pass. KO and UR will continue to float. And it looks like we will just pass through the first stock round as a result. Kaminsky choosing to invest his money and lose priority as a result. Will he give some love to the UR or just let that player wallow for a stock round or operating round? He does. So you are una unable to float on his own and just left to sit on his private income. IR has a couple of options here. Generally speaking, we see a tight city laid so that he can run to side you. These players seem to be a little bit newer, so maybe seeing something off that scripted opening, um, and we will find out shortly. It does take that option. And this player has the Sumitomo Rails, so um, does not need to buy um, any excess number of trains, but may see three trains if he's willing to token inside you. And looks like we will be seeing that. This player is pushing the trains forward with players having very little capital and not able to float companies, so hoping to run hot before other companies get cash to invest. KO. Uh, my preferred start is to lay the dit and start heading to Kotahira, hoping to rush, rush that uh, tracked uh, hex and get there before the SR when I'm starting the KO. Alternatively, you can lay north to the offboard, which is what he elects to do. So we'll have the opportunity to run two trains in the next operating round as long as he buys them here, which he does. So there is a single two train left. If the UR is able to float, one of these two companies, the IR or the KO, potentially both, will be able to buy in their privates for an early buy-in. That is terrible news for the players um, like Haba Haba, who are just sitting on income and will be locked out of becoming a presidency in all likelihood. Maniac is passing. Stas does not have the money for a share. Haba does buy his first share and it is of the IR. That company will have the highest revenue in the next operating round. And Kaminsky has the option of showing the UR a little bit of love here. We will see if he has mercy. Instead, buying another IR. And there will be one more opportunity here for him to buy a share elected by the IR. So Stas will be floating in the next stock round. Uh, a little bit unfortunate for him that he has invested all this cash where the other players are sitting on paying shares. And it looks like Maniac will be leaving with priority. He will be unable to dump this company, not that you would necessarily want to, but just pointing it out. So because he bought three trains, we will almost certainly be seeing a, another sharp turn on Saiju with a token. We do. This is a uh, opening that gives you a fair amount of cash. The problem being that you only own 50% of that company. Kaminsky is hanging on with you and you have neutered the long-term potential of the IR in terms of being able to protect your track with tokens. So uh, maybe not the best decision for someone uh, that has such a heavily invested minority, minority um, shareholder. 
but he does run hot for this first uh, operating round and hopefully will neglect to buy another train here. KO operating for the second time probably will see the dit here. Instead, laying track for the TR, um, this does you know help the TR quite a bit. So this player must be hoping to buy into the threes, buy in his privates, and start the TR, which he will not have the money to do. Um, so unclear to me why that decision was made. And he will, instead of laying the dit, run to the north. Fine to do. It does maximize your early game potential. I'll also point out that this tile here has the potential to be quite difficult for the AR if the um, corresponding straight green track is placed elsewhere on the board. There are only two of them, and the AR, unless it has friends, will not be able to access either one of them. So this has the potential of blocking the AR out from the um, expensive revenue centers in the northeast of the island. <coughs> he buys into the threes and will be buying his cheap private as a result. This may give him an extra share for the next stock round and will give him plenty of runs for his trains, but will not allow him to float the TR. Uh, again, a little bit confusing why you would lay that track for the TR, not ensuring that you will be the president of that company. Just to step through your options there, you can lay tragic track for the TR and really uh, kill that company's prospects towards the east or south by laying uh, a gentle curve this way, running from the mountain to Nahari, which is something I'm a fan of, although I rarely have the Mitsubishi to have that opportunity. Maniac now running the KO and sells this company down. I think that is a mistake. So he, as a result, will have the cash to run the TR. The problem with this is that you're dumping a company with a three that is in the yellow. Habba Habba um, has the capital to buy that company out if he likes. He can just withhold into the yellow. He will get 100% of the revenue from that company that he withholds and be able to buy his privates. Um, so that is giving a player a way back into the game. The KO is an excellent mid late game company as well as an early game company so really do not like this play from maniac but he will float the tr you also are floating the tr for its minimum par value so you're not going to set yourself up for expensive trains in the late game with this uh, we'll see if the other players recognize the danger here abba instead buys an ir may just see him tanking the shares here and then hoping to uh, buy some cheaper shares after he has sold. Instead, staying invested, IR does have an opportunity to dump here, but there's too much cash in the company to make that worth it. And instead, we'll buy a UR, allowing that to float. This does open uh, Stas up for a start in OR, SR, OR3. Kaminsky now, will he see the opportunity that Maniac has given him? So there may have been some auto-passing there. Um, because a lot just happened with a single click. So it looks like Kaminsky sold down his investment in the IR and now has a little bit more liquidity. Will he be taking over the KO? He sells out of the KO as well. I think that's um, also a mistake. You're putting this company further into the yellow, making it easier for other people to buy those shares, and now you are floating a company at minimum par. Fortunately, he does take the SR and um, will be hoping to race to Kotahira against the KO. He will be operating in front of the KO. Maniac is continuing to float. Stoss is sitting on his newly floated company, Haba Haba, kind of eliminated from the game still, Michael ZZ sitting on his shares, and we will see these other two players just float their new companies, it looks like. Michael ZZ happy to take advantage of his yellow IR shares. Unlikely to see the fours break um, and rust these trains, so he should be able to pick up a three. We have the TR player selling down one share. This does leave you um, with an unprotected presidency in theory. However, with the other players invested as they are, unlikely to see it stolen. So maybe able to trade this for a paying share. Kaminsky floats, and Maniac now will lose priority by buying a 
yellow share of the IR. This gives Stas priority in the next uh, set of stock rounds. First operation for the SR and lay straight to get towards the uh, IR player. We'll probably buy at least one three train here and passes from there. UR should be probably laying north towards Ozu. It does. He controls the Ime, so we'll be able to upgrade that tile when he desires. Buys a single three. Maniac, first operation of the TR. He is operating two companies um, and will be laying towards the east. He does not uh, have the mountain busting, so unfortunately has to pay that track cost. But maybe hoping to link up with the KO and get the KO over into Kuchi. Buying the three train, there are two left. And now the first operation of this set with the IR has the ability to upgrade <coughs> either of these cities and maybe looking to leave them at one hole into green to prevent an easy run from one of these other companies. And does that indeed. This prevents the Maragami from upgrading uh, this city into Takamatsu down the road. Uh, it does have the opportunity to still get there, but we'll have to at least give the KO a city uh, hole to a token as a result. I should also point out that this track lay prevents the Matsuyama from upgrading with this track, which is desirable because it would prevent the it would allow the IR to run to Ozu without allowing the UR to get into Matsuyama at least until Brown. We'll be running his three trains and presumably paying. He actually withholds. Um, I guess he assumes that he will have to buy a three here or run, run the risk of falling back when the four comes out, so he wants to just have a little bit of extra cash and does buy that three. I think that, you know, looking at these companies, if he had not bought the three there, it's unlikely that we would have seen the three and the four come out before he operated again. Uh, it is a little bit risky, but uh, maybe a risk I would have been willing to take. I would have to think about it a little bit more. KO running three, two trains, and will be on the hook for that last four train, but doesn't have the money for it without a withhold. Laying Ritsu, uh, Ritsu Kuen. As a result of the tight cities being taken by IR, uh, SR is unable to immediately get to KO, so we will see the KO being able to determine which orientation the KO is laid has the option of laying it uh, as a gentle towards the Marigami track or as a gentle towards this mountain. Uh, I prefer to lay it away from the SR, not because I am necessarily being super unfriendly to the SR, but mostly because I want them to be forced to pay the second upgrade into green. Does have three runs and will withhold in order to buy the first four. So again, you know, the IR and the KO are the most incentivized companies to have the two trains remain and end up not necessarily intentionally, but functionally colluding to bring out the four. I don't know if that is in either of these players' best interest. SR forced to take that upgrade with the extra uh, token hole in order to get into Kotahira or uh, Takamatsu, and will be running his, two, his three train for just two stops. He buys his private. You are now, um, unless he buys in his private, will be unable to upgrade Ozu, but looks like he recognizes that and leaves a hole for the IR to run through. Will be also laying towards the TR, taking advantage of his double track lay. Buys the next four, leaving a little bit of money in this company, and as a result, will be almost broke after buying in his private, which he actually does not do. So just sitting on his private would have given him probably another share in the upcoming stock round, so not uh, entirely clear why you make that decision. It does prevent the KO from upgrading Takamatsu, but is that really a priority for you in this uh, stage of the game? TR probably going to be laying towards Aikida and rushing over to Kotohira and his KO. Electing to upgrade his second city. Um, reasonable to do. It does block the UR out until brown. 
but you may also be hoping to get into Nihama and eventually Kotohira, um, so you're losing a little bit of tempo by doing that upgrade. Does buy in his privates. And Ko left without enough cash to upgrade Kotohira. Instead, upgrades into Maragami to give himself um, a four train run. And withholding now in the orange phase, there is no brown in 1889, and we'll get a little bit more company cash. So let's just take stock of the game state now. We have Stas running the UR, a little bit of cash coming into this stock round, and um, train lot when the fives break with no real company cash. Haba Haba, this player way overbid in the auction, sitting on a fair amount of cash here. Um, can sell down the IR, but this has been tanked by other players, so even doing that will not have enough money to float. And we may very well see this company, this player just never be the president of a company. Um, Michael CZ has a healthy IR, reasonable track, and a fair amount of money. Would like to see him just buy paying shares here. Kaminsky, SR, um, did get a little bit um, blocked by the KO and the fact that there were no sharp cities for it to have to get into Kotohira, but now in a much healthier position has a reasonable amount of cash and some good runs. The Maniac player now has two companies, has very little cash between them, probably will be hoping for permanent threes, um, does have a brown company, but doesn't have enough cash to really take advantage of those shares. May see the other players snapping them up before he even gets an opportunity. We see Stas buy his own company, he does have two trains, will have some reasonable runs for these trains, so not unreasonable. However, I am looking at those yellow sh orange shares in the KO uh, greedily. Haba Haba will sell it down, again putting the IR into yellow and giving it market shares. Still does not have money to float on its own, and I presume will be looking for shares it finds more attractive and buys a TR. TR has two trains, um, will not have very good track for at least one operating round, potentially two, depending on what happens at Kotohira. Um, so, I don't know. Kind of equivocal, this player doesn't seem to be relevant in this game at this point. IR, buying a UR, again, company with two routes and two trains. SR, buying the UR, so these players are all looking towards the UR to run hot in the next operating rounds. This does leave Maniac the ability to get back into this game and buy his cheap market shares, which I would certainly be doing, uh, otherwise he's only going to be able to afford one share in this operating round. He instead buys the TR, um, uh, yeah, UR player will buy a TR, Haba Haba, buying a KO, the cheap market shares, someone finally recognizing the potential there. And now all the players are alert to this. Maniac left himself without enough money, so we'll only be buying a single share of this stock round. Stas only has money for a KO, would like to see him buy that, which he does. Haba Haba, will he continue to buy the KO and hopefully take it over? He does. So Maniac now forced to sell to defend this company, but unfortunately will be buying an expensive IPO share rather than the cheap market shares that he could have bought uh, several turns ago. So definitely some poor play there. Michael is passing. Not sure why he makes that decision. Um, there are shares available to him that would be safe to buy, and you don't really typically want to just sit on cash. Kaminsky buying a expensive KO, which gives him his first share in that company. Um, Maniac, will he defend? He likes to pass, giving Man Habba Habba a company that he really doesn't deserve. So I expect that we will see Habba Habba withhold, um, probably for both ORs, and then buy in at least one of his privates. So very questionable play from both Habba and Maniac throughout this game. Michael. Passing still, Kaminsky buying an IR in the yellow, Maniac out of money, does sell the um, KO down, giving Haba Haba the opportunity for more cheap shares. So Haba Haba has been entirely rehabilitated at this point. Michael selling the IR, which he is the president of, and 
now will be reserving a presidency somewhere. So these players are failing to recognize the danger of these cheap KO shares, and he looks to float presumably the AR. AR's map position in this game is tenuous. Um, has to worry a little bit about Takamatsu being tokened by the SR or just blocked into brown by the private, and also is not guaranteed to get into Aikida. So would like you to would like have, would have liked to see him just maintain control of the IR, but the other player is not really in position to take control of it without significant cells of their own. Haba buys another KO, has five paying shares, six paying shares, and good private income, so behind, but was allowed a way back into the game through poor play. Michael will presumably continue to float the AR. He does. The other players should be passing. So we'll just see Michael start his second company. As a result, um, Kaminsky will go into this stock round with priority, and we will see who decides to start the KU, and I assume one of these players will make that decision in the next stock round. SR has the opportunity to lay Kota here, here, instead heading towards the west, and will run his three train and pay it out. He actually withholds. Um, this is the majority of this player's stock. I'm not sure why you withhold there. Don't, not in desperate need of the cash, only have one company. <laughs> Ayer's first operation, we'll see if he, so he wants to run to guarantee a um, track on the DIT. That is pretty low yield, but maybe looking for um, an upgrade to take advantage of that gray tile in the future. Buys a four, and we will probably see this game stall now on that last four. TR upgrading Aikida, that does help the AR and runs his two trains. UR may see him start heading towards the TR and Kuchi, and looks like he's motivated to get there, and will be running hopefully two trains. So just running his one train does have the opportunity to run two by tokening in Ozu. It is not the most valuable token um, at this stage in the game, or potentially ever, but would give him a little bit of extra revenue, so missed opportunity there. IR We'll be linking up with the east side of the map. Um, well, actually, because of the Aikida track, we'll be blocking the east side of the map from heading towards uh, the west, at least until brown, when we can see the Aikida tile upgraded. He is also withholding. He is now in the orange, and he will be not going first in priority, in fact, going last. So it needs to be quite careful that he doesn't make this company too appealing for other people to buy, hoping to take his own yellow shares. As a result of the AR not operating and the IR withholding, he will be looking at very little money going into the next stock round. First operation from the president, Haba Haba Haba, and he has money now for Kotohira. Instead, upgrading for a run into the AR. Not sure why you lay that company's track for it. And should be withholding here as he has very expensive privates to buy in. He does. So, you know, despite his mistakes in the auction, um, is playing this position right. Withholding here keeps you um, in the orange and will give you 100% of the money when you buy in your privates. So with another withhold, we'll be having money to buy in his Uno Takamatsu um, expensive company. May have to see him exchange the Dugo for a share, um, as he is unlikely to be able to buy both in if the fives come out in uh, any reasonable time. TR now operating and links up with the UR, so happy to cooperate and get a better run as a result. Stas um, has had its track laid for it. Will it now lay towards Matsuyama? Instead, laying Nahari, pretty low yield track there. At least he doesn't token it. 
he tokens coochie. The problem with tokening coochie is that it opens up to three holes in brown, so um, can't really guarantee block companies out there. He still has a private to buy in if he chooses to. And he passes. So at this point, I have to assume he's doing this out of spite to um, injure the KO and the AR. Otherwise, why would you not buy in that private? SR, just doing a quick upgrade and then running its three train and paying out. AR does have an opportunity to upgrade its home tile to get into Takamatsu and also give it an opportunity to run west uh, through that gray tile, which he does not take. Was that tile available? It was. So would have preferred to see this tile as you get uh, more bang from your buck. This does prevent the KO from running through your home tile, but is that really a priority for you? IR limited track just upgrading Nihama, maybe hoping to lay some mountain tile to get into Kuchi through Aikida in the future um, and continuing to withhold. So now has a company that he has minimal shares in that are that is extremely cheap to buy with a lot of cash in it. So I expect we will see other players buying these shares and I believe he's going last in priority. He is. So um, may end up running a company that most players are heavily invested in, which really doesn't uh, do much for the president. KO passes his track, doesn't really have too many options, could have laid Kotahira, um, but doesn't want to spend the money, and I expect we'll see him withhold and buy in his private. He does pay out. Will he buy in his private? He buys in the cheaper private, and will sit on the Yuno Takamatsu. Again, that private does give you pretty good revenue throughout the game, but it is a share certificate um, in terms of your certificate limit. Haba Haba has the most cash coming into this stock round. It may see him floating the KU as a result. Will the players snap up these cheap IR shares? It looks like Kaminsky is instead buying the AR, a company that has very little money and very little track. Maniac will buy the UR, better decision than the AR, but still not investing in those cheap shares. Stas does see the value of those shares. Haba Haba will sell down and start the KU. So interestingly enough, he actually sells down out of the KO as well. So we may see this company change hands again. Uh, the KU is a terrible company, uh, regardless of you know the decision making for this player in the past. The KU um, has no tokens to protect its runs. The TR is still sitting on a token, so could easily token in Uwajima. Um, we also have tokens from the SR, KO, and AR, which are available. So any of those players can token uh, the KU and make it miserable. Don't like the KU unless you're able to suitcase it. More of the IR shares being bought. And the KO shares are also attractive now. Looks like the IR will probably sell out. Michael was able to get a, at least a 50% investment in this company, which was not guaranteed when the stock round started. And the IR now is sold. Don't follow that decision at all. And buys an SR. A second player selling out of the IR again. Very strange. And buying an AR. This player is still valuing the IR. I believe he was the first player to buy those shares, so recognizing their value. Haba will continue to float the KU, and Michael does not have enough money without selling down to buy any more of these orange shares, which he is unable to do. So hopefully Stas will just vacuum up these yellow shares. Instead buying the AR. I'm not sure what these players are seeing in this company. It doesn't have much money. It has very limited track potential. Um, so I don't, I don't get it. KU is floated now. Michael passing. Stas um, will hopefully be buying cheap shares. 
and buys the KO. This does open him up to a dump, but if I'm him, I want that company, so I'm hoping that Haba dumps it. And Haba does not oblige. We'll see if Stas continues to buy shares. He buys the IR, and will he continue to buy the KO? Yes, so he is now the president of three companies, or sorry, just two companies. He was not able to take the IR over, um, but I think he is in a fairly strong position. This uh, game may very well see permanent threes. Uh, there's not much company cash, and he has not just a three, but two fours. So lots of shares, 15 shares to everybody else's basically single digits, and uh, has more shares that he can buy. Good position for Stas. And <laughs> having said all of that, he immediately turns around and dumps out of the KO. Um, and also sells all of his orange IR shares to invest in the KU. Uh, just flabbergasting. Buys another share of the KU, presumably going to be just trashing the shares here. Instead, just sitting on them. Um, strange. KU has the opportunity to buy in his private um, and also can buy what I believe is the last four. And buys the four and the five, which means that he will not be able to buy in his private, but will be sitting on that revenue for the rest of the game. So this game is obviously some newer players um, making some poor decisions. Um, not that the KU play there was necessarily poor, but the stock round decision making was terrible. We do see the south and north sides of the map link up. Uh, TR has a token that it can drop and maybe looking at Marigami. And it does. UR is running his trains and upgrades Aikido. This does give a hole for AR if he wants to run over and try and take it. SR upgrading the Takamatsu now that that private has left the game and maybe looking for a token there to block the AR. Passes the token. Could also have token Daikita, which may have been pretty high yield as well as the UR is trying to sneak around through there. Running his trains does have money for a five. AR now has better track. Maybe looking at a token on Takamatsu. Upgrades and tokens. Withholding, AR has very little cash here um, and was able to buy that last five. The six trains are staring down at all these players. IR without a permanent train, but close to permanent train money, maybe looking to bring out that six. So game looks unlikely to be permanent with respect to the threes. Withholds and is 15 bucks short of the six, but we will be seeing that come out. So no permanent threes for this game. KO has cash, maybe withholding, knowing that the uh, permanent trains are coming. Sits on its token and withholds. The player with priority here is Haba Haba, so he's going to be looking to buy up his own cheap orange shares in the next stock round, almost certainly. TR upgrading Marigami and running its two trains. Amazed that we have not seen Kotahira upgraded here. It is an expensive tile, but usually between two or three different companies, we see it get upgraded, um, but have not in this game. Haba Haba, very little cash. Um, is kind of blocked out of Kuchi until Brown will not be able to create the tile himself, so maybe leading towards running to Uojima towards the west. Running his five train and pays that out. You are so can now get into the offboard through Matsuyuma and into Mbari, maybe looking at that straight tile and tokens there. So we do have to watch out for where the second five prong Brown City lays. It, uh, if it is laid on Nihama or Ozu, Saiju will be stuck at a single whole city, um, which would be greatly to the IR's benefit. The only player that can upgrade Saiju and prevent that is the UR, and he will not be operating before the IR operates. So the IR can lock up that token um, 
if he recognizes that opportunity. SR will be doing the IR's job for it in tokening or er, upgrading Nihama. This means that Saiju controls access to Mbari and is very happy. SR is running two trains and will run for a fair amount. That has no train liability, so should be paying out. AR links up, does not have a token, um, but is happy to have an additional route for its trains. IR um, will have the money with just a payout here for the six, so expect we will see that coming out. The KO has two fours, so will not be falling back as a result of the six coming out. The TR, on the other hand, will be falling back and may be able to pick up the six as an emergency presidency buy. and the first six does come out. There will be no um, guarantee that we will see a D-Train in this game as there's only one company in need of a permanent train at this point. The other players will have to withhold rather heavily in order to bring out the D. However, if someone does bring out the D, we will have both the UR and the KO in need of a permanent train. The KO may be looking to withhold further, so that may be the company that is able to upgrade for the D and force that through. KO is passing. We still do not see a Kota here tile laid, which is incredible. And he will instead token Aikida, which is good. It locks down the map, kind of cuts it in half between Saiju and Aikida. It's very hard to get east-west for a lot of these companies. Um, and he will eventually be able to run through Kuchi. So it does have the potential for a reasonable D-train run. And he pays out. He controls 70% of that company functionally, so paying out, not unreasonable. We'll be looking, hopefully, to buy his cheap shares, which he does. The rest of the players should really be eyeing these orange shares and snapping them up at the earliest opportunity. In terms of certificates or stocks, um, Stas is one share ahead of his next competitors, um, but a little bit behind in net worth compared to Maniac and Kaminsky. And the other players seem to be recognizing the orange shares. Kaminsky, unfortunately, does buy a TR, which is trainless. So the TR, I may have missed that in the last uh, analysis of the game state. The TR is trainless, so he will be forced to potentially buy a D train as Maniac um, does not have another presidency to shuffle trains with. So we will be seeing the D train coming out early in the operating round. The, T train, the TR is actually guaranteed to be operating first. So we will see a fast D train coming out. Looking at the map, the TR does have a reasonable D run, will unfortunately be locked out of Imbari, but it can run from the west side of the map over to the east and into Kodihira once that track is laid. More of these orange shares being bought. Maniac buying the KU. Um, that is not a worthwhile company. Stas selling out of the TR, recognizing the danger of it needing a D-train, and hopefully we'll be trading in for a orange share. And buys an AR. AR does have a permanent train, will have a reasonable route, but I would be looking towards ensuring my stock density later by buying these cheap orange shares. Haba is aware of that. Michael also buying above his cert limit, or above his stock limit in the IR. The other players are similarly investing, investing in the AR now, and we see the last IR go. Only the KO orange shares are left. This company is a little bit less appealing as it does not have a D train, but um, is basically halfway there and is still a worthwhile investment in my opinion. And the other players seem to agree. Michael is buying the AR, so we will see the AR floating up. And both of the free shares are, companies are now sold out. Maniac buying a KU. Again, this company is not very good. 
Stas buying the SR, and we see players starting to reach um, close to their share limits, at least Stas is. And it looks like most of these companies will be selling out, with the exception of the TR. Kaminsky is passing kind of inexplicably. SR has now sold out and UR is left in the market. This company will need a D-train uh, this operating round. So players may be reluctant to buy it, but it looks like they are willing to at least invest one share and Kaminsky ends up with priority. He has a company that is not dumpable. We probably will not be seeing dumps this game unless the KU, no, even the KU is not a dumpable company. So should not be a dump uh, coming up. All the players have enough cash to survive buying their D-train. Um, so probably will not be seeing a bankruptcy either. TR forced to buy the D-train here. For some reason, I thought that the TR was guaranteed to operate first, but it looks like the KU floated up. And he has to sell down and will now buy. Was there a six train in the, in the bank the entire time? <laughs> I missed that. I apologize. SR has been token, so route is now a little bit worse. Does not have cash to lay Kodahira. AR, two trains, um, is kind of blocked from running them very efficiently and does not have money to lay code here to open things up. You are looking to bypass Aikida by getting into Nihama in the future and may also be interested in doing some withholding to bring out that D-train. I are bypassing the DIT and will be running his strict strain. Um, can pay out, but will eventually want to stay in the orange so he doesn't have to sell in a share. Alternatively, could just end up one share um, out of the orange and sell back down into it. KO running two trains, may see a withhold here for an upgrade. Upgrades Kuchi, which does allow his KU to run through it, but he is still tokened out of Aikida, so the KU is also hoping for a Nihama connection through the mountains. Runs for 360, which will not leave him enough to do the upgrade, but he is withholding, so looking for that D-train. SR. Still not much interesting track to lay, and KU does not have the money to lay the mountain tile, so may see an upgrade on Kubakawa. Running his five, and should be paying out. TR, just running his train, and has a fairly good route. AR still blocked by these tokens without cash for track, but does have a permanent train. You are without a permanent train, may be looking to withhold as we do have indication that Haba Haba is looking to bring it out with the KO. IR may be seeing this company starting to withhold, not for money for trains, but just to make sure he stays yellow and potentially orange. But it pays out. KO now will be withholding, I assume, for the D-Train upgrade. When he gets the D-Train, we'll also have cash for laying Kota Hero, which will open up the um, track for other players, but also improve his D-Train run. So he lays the Kota Hero tile and will be withholding to bring out the D. This does leave him enough cash for the next two Kota Hero upgrades as well, which the other players are happy to thank him for. So looking at the status of the game, the UR is now left trainless and um, will be forced to buy that out of the pocket, probably causing him to not be able to buy anything else in the stock round and maybe eliminating him from the game. The UR does have a reasonable um, D-train run, especially once this track gets laid, which I'm assuming he will be prioritizing. Um, 
but probably will not be sufficient to get him back into the game. So Haba 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 is doing pretty well with a D run in a orange company, although Kaminsky owns almost half of that and is close to him in terms of net worth. Michael CZ is technically leading and also has a yellow company, so may see this player um, able to withstand the assault of these D-trains. KU now um, has the money to lay that mountain tile, which I would have expected him to do, but instead um, just running towards the west. That straight tile is available, so could have done that, um, but maybe waiting for other players to take that opportunity. TR running his six train and is able to upgrade the Kodahir tile into green. The TR is able to run through Kodahira as well as hit two 60 value cities, so a pretty um, good run for the six train. SR now lays that track and still has a token, so maybe laying that in Kuchi, which would uh, very significantly reduce the runs of these D trains. Looks like he does, so I think that if you are um, Michael CZ, you are breathing a sigh of relief as that makes it much more likely that you will be able to walk away with this game. AR now um, does have some access through Kotahira um, to improve its run, but will be hitting the dit, so it may not be worth it until Kotahira is upgraded to 80. UR player is on the hook for a D train here and does lay some track, so hoping to bypass Aikida, um, although he yeah, will have to bypass Aikida, cannot run through Nihama. Selling shares and buys his D train. This is the last operating round of this set, so Stas unfortunately will be left without much cash to buy shares in the next stock round. This is looking more and more like a win for Michael ZZ, who is the stock leader and has no train liability. KO laying mountain tracks, just trying to improve his D run. And his D run will be for 370, which is good, but looking at the runs for the other companies may not be enough to overwhelm um, his deficit. This uh, TR is running for, you know, only minimally less and was able to do it without out-of-pocketing a D. Next stock round, um, looking at the game state, there is $3,000 in the market, so we should see the bank break. This will probably be the last stock round and last set of operating rounds. If I um, just briefly analyze the game state, I am favoring Michael CZ here, although... Uh, Haba Haba does have an outside chance if he is able to get enough shares. Kaminsky buying the TR. Again, the TR is probably the best value stock right now. The DR, or the UR, will probably have a reasonable run if he's able to lay track here to get into Kodihira. Um, so, should not be ignored. And Maniac recognizes that and is looking for the UR shares. The TR will go to Stas, and Haba Haba maybe I'll pick up that last UR share, which he does. Michael CZ will be left with the TR. Michael has to sell down a IR as he was unable to stay in the orange. That does hurt him and we'll pick up the last TR. So the remainder of the players will be looking at the KU. Um, if these players are looking ahead, they will realize that if they all buy, um, or at least one of them buys the IR, Haba Haba will not be able to buy another KU, leaving that for uh, Michael CZ. He is the leader, so they may want to prevent that, but it's a hard ass to say that you're going to forego a yellow share, um, which is paying fairly well, in order to hurt the leader. We do see a KU purchase, another KU purchase, and 
the ire goes. So Haba is kicking himself a little bit that he wasn't able to pick up an extra share, and instead Michael CZ should be getting that. And we will pass into the next operating round. This will be the last set of operating rounds. Um, there is potential for some reasonably interesting track if the D trains are able to optimize their runs. Um, so why don't we just skip through it quickly? Maniac is taking the last upgrade on Kotahira, and SR will be laying the track that the UR wanted in order to optimize its D run. AR, limited track, just running trains. KU, also without much interesting track delay, will be hoping to bypass Kuchi. Um, you are now running its D-Train for the first time, upgrading Nahari. This is kind of a relevant track. There's not going to be enough track points or um, opportunities in this game left to really complete that loop. Running for 450, which is quite good. Um, it looks like the other players have split their investment, so this uh, company does not help Michael CZ or Haba Haba um, in their comp competition with one another. Um, the D player, or Strauss, I believe has been eliminated, so it doesn't really matter. IR, um, just running his train. And KO does have money to complete that mountain track, and does. This helps the KU a little bit, and may also improve his run just uh, incrementally. Running for 480, which will be slightly more than the UR. We can look now at the revenue. Haba is running for about $100 more, $75 more than Michael CZ, which will be not enough to overcome Michael CZ's lead. So as long as things stay fairly stable, we will see um, Michael CZ win this game. With that said, I think we will just skip the remainder of this operating round and see how that works out. Michael CZ does take it narrowly over Haba Haba Haba, and the remainder of the players bring up the rear. Uh, this was a low-level game with many questionable decisions. Uh, I think that the auction really summarized the eventual you know, level of play that we saw, and some of the decision-making regarding control of these companies that got sold down into the uh, orange and yellow areas of the market um, were quite suspect. Um, but ultimately, Michael Z comes away with a win, so well played to him, and uh, we will be back with more commentary in the future.